Okay guys, so thanks ever so much for watching the video and hopefully you're all keeping really good. Today we're gonna to be talking about how less can seem to be much more. And you'd have seen this type of video before on YouTube where golf pros often refer to the term, you should not turn your shoulders. And I kind of feel like it's decent advice and I wanted to try and elaborate on really what that actually means. So what I did in the video that built up to this uh, particular one was talk about was trying to show you and highlight the early backswing position so if you like really the first move and what I was trying to highlight within my golf swing is how I kind of shift the pressure very early towards the trail side and that's a really common thing that has been data has been collected on that that's what professionals golfers are doing now the common amateur trait is to not do that and it's to sort of turn the shoulders like so and to move off the golf ball like this right and then this plays havoc because from a side on perspective you'll do things like lose your hip depth which means that you'll stand forward um, as opposed to get the trail hit back um, and it will you know depends onto the severity as to how much somebody would do this but you can often get quite stuck so I know with a lot of golfers that I've worked with online they just get stuck massively behind the golf ball and end up sort of scooping at it a bit too much. So it's a really important thing. And with people that I work with, what I often get them to do first and foremost, just to concentrate on, is to get the feeling of being more centered. Now, the gray area with what centered actually means. Now, sort of by definition, if you were to draw a line through the outside of my ankles, right, like so, that would be a centered movement which would essentially mean again if I put my hands across my shoulders if I move like this I'm centered this centered 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 you know centered 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 you know this would be a slide this would be excessive so you know the idea of staying centered is gray you know it's not that precise in terms of what it really is referring to so what I get golfers to try and do is I try and get them to understand how to shift pressure get more of a concept of the early backswing being them lifting their arms up whilst kind of basically keeping the head still. And I think that's a better definition of what centered would really mean. Now again, we're talking the early backswing in this video. So we're gonna be using the reference up to about lead arm horizontal. Once you get past this point, then you can start to move differently and there are different ways. But what you don't wanna do is you don't wanna be starting your backswing in the way that we've already sort of alluded to. So the first thing that I tend to look for is a golfer's ability to shift pressure and the easiest way to do this is to use a platform so to be fair wedge pro were kind enough to send me this and i thought i'd use it because it's you know brilliant and all i'm doing here is i'm just placing my foot on the actual wedge pro itself or on the wedge and you guys can you know source something like this or you can go and just you know get a block of wood or whatever with with again online instruction that i use they conjure up loads of creative ways it's not that difficult to do but from this position, what I'm trying to get somebody to do, first of all, is to grow in confidence of just sliding a little bit, right? Because a lot of golfers start to get fearful of actually sliding like so. And then once they get quite confident with this and they can go, yeah, okay, I can feel a little bit of sort of motion towards that side, then I'll just make sure that they can do it whilst keeping the head still, okay? So they're starting to move more like this as opposed to immediately moving like this. You can see the difference even on the sort of slippy surface on the wedge pro instead of pushing it into it this is sort of more this way turning over it so that would be the first little that would be the first exercise i'd do and then what i'd then suggest for golfers to do would be to use some resistance tubing okay because again if, if you're somebody who turns too much over and you go into too much of a state of flexion which basically means too downward facing too early you won't be able to lift your arms in the air so if you were to use a resistance tubing and the idea is i want you to pause by lead arm horizontal you really want to get the feeling of doing this so you can see the way that my pelvis moves a little towards my trail side in the early back swim as i elevate my arms up and this means that i can keep my head pretty still it's going to move but i'm hopefully understand hopefully you guys are appreciating that i'm just talking about not doing this and doing this now those two motions the concept of elevation okay lifting your arms up if you like is a big game changer for most golfers because it triggers a state of thoracic extension which is basically a sort of posh term of being more vertical in that early backswing which is essentially what you want to do you do really want to be moving more 
this way in the early backswing position to then work on whatever you're going to choose to do a little bit later in the swing. And using the Wedge Pro just gives you that ability to feel like you're pushing pressure in towards the ground. And that'd be my suggestion to sort of fix that sort of idea of, okay, actually, if I was here and golfers are here, then I can strike down on the golf ball, get more compression on it, get a better sound on it, hit it that little bit further. And that's what we're kind of referring to as less is more, as opposed to the idea of more of this is going to translate into less distance. So to get the feelings, you want to be using a bit of resistance tubing, a Wedge Pro or some sort of device that's going to give you the ability to sort of, um, if you like, sort of pronate your foot inwards so that you can kind of then you know push into the leg as it creates elements of resistance and you're going to be pretty much onto a winner if you do those two things see you guys again really really soon